At first glance, this looks like an everyday woman entering the bank. But a closer look at the counter and you see it's actually a guy wearing a wig. You see him hand the bank teller a note, then leave with money in his bag. The FBI says back in December, this was the first time the bad wig bandit struck, but it wasn't his last. Yesterday, dressed in a new red wig, police say the suspect robbed a Belmont bank. Then five hours later, in a different curly wig, he's accused of robbing another bank in Gastonia. The FBI is hoping someone recognizes this bad wig bandit, a nickname that has more meaning than you might think. Naming bank robbers is a tradition in the FBI. No matter the suspect, from the ball cap bandit in Rowan County to the pink lady bandit spotted in robberies up and down the East Coast, the FBI says the goal is always the same. We try to develop a good name. We kick a lot of them out. We don't accept them all. But the ones we do accept usually identify a certain trait. And that trait becomes more and more recognizable. It even helped the Charlotte hotel manager spot the pink lady bandit, which ultimately led to an arrest. There I got, you know, his picture somehow recognized. A similar outcome the FBI hopes will catch up to the bad wig bandit, too.